Hey guys, it's just me. Decided to, I'm going to make another video again. And this time, I want to bring up a really good point. And you know, in the past, I've talked about how I hate writing where they write bullies into a TV show or movie. They beat up someone and they get away with it. Or they just, you know, don't do anything with it. Well, I'm here to bring up a good point. Why is it that people don't turn a blind eye to that, but, oh, if we have a comedy where there's sexist and racist crude jokes, people get offended by that. Oh, but if there's something in fiction where a bully gets away with beating up someone and they get away with it, no one, ha no one gets mad, no one complains, no one goes on Twitter on it and tries to cancel those people. I don't understand that. Like... At least the, you know, the offensive, crude comedy jokes about racism and sexism. You know, you've seen this in movies like Blazing Saddles, the Harold and Kumar films. Yeah, they're offensive as hell, but at least they're funny. When a really mean-spirited character, like a generic bully stereotype, when they get away with beating up someone, that's not funny or cool. And I don't have to go... I don't have to give you reasons why I think that's bad. I've already mentioned that in past videos, but I just wanted to bring this up because it makes me sick that people are okay with that. Oh, but if someone makes a com makes a comedy and they put in jokes about the African American community or how women are, you know, are smarter than men, that, that becomes offensive or how or how men are perverts compared to women, that's offensive, but oh it's okay if some generic kid gives someone a black eye and they don't get punished for it rightfully. That's okay. I don't understand that. And, you know, it's 2024 and, you know, maybe back in 2004 that would have flied. But not not in 2024. I don't think you could get away with that. But people are fine with that. Like, I've mentioned how in the past this has happened with even modern movies as recent, like, you know, like The Atom Project or The Black Phone and I understand the black phone because that's set in 1978, but still it isn't right. Even though the time period depicted in the black phone and, oh, let's not forget the fact that's a horror movie. I can understand, oh, and that's in the 70s, but still it isn't right. It wasn't like there's an old saying going, it wasn't right back then and it wasn't right then. And yeah, I understand Disney Plus uses that as a disclaimer for a lot of their movies that depicts like, you know, racism and other stereotypes that wouldn't be acceptable by by today's society but still i really want to i don't want to be the fly on the wall i want to be the elephant in the room and i feel like when i mention this stuff people seem oh say oh it comes off as petty and it doesn't and this person on deviantart commented to me and they even agree hold on and I want you to read this. I'm going to I'm going to set this on this comment and you can read it. Go on. I mean, go ahead. I'll give you a few minutes to read it. Okay. Now that person doesn't necessarily, you know, mention what I was talking about, but I want to show what what I was saying earlier, okay? Hold on. Just a second. And for context, this is... For context... Just a second. Oh, crap. Let me go back. <laughs> this is my DeviantArt. Yeah, I've made a new comment since my old one got shut down because I was being harassed constantly by assholes who I'm not going to mention, but... Okay, this is the episode I was commenting about and this is what I'm talking about. Now, to, to be clear, this episode came out back in 2000. So this was a long time ago. This was 24 years ago, but this episode right here is what I am always complaining about. Yeah, if, you know, Hey Arnold, new bully on the block, Wolfgang. I don't even need to go into a, a tangent on why I hate the character of Wolfgang. But anyways, yeah, I, I, I made some comments on this and hold on a second. I'm going to show you this whole thing I made.
And so people also replied to me, too. And I agree with what they have to say. And I also brought up a good point. Like like I said, I said, you know, you can't have racist or sexist jokes in modern comedy without offending someone, but this shit is okay. Yeah, this is exactly what I'm talking about. How is it that if you make a comedy and you have a bunch of racist and sexist jokes, people get offended, but when they show, like, say a kid's show where a bully gets beaten up, a bully beats up. No, not the opposite. No, no, not like in a Christmas story where Ralphie beats well, Ralphie. The Ralphie beats the shit out of Scott Farkas. No, I'm talking about the exact opposite, where a bully pounds someone. Yeah, that's what bullies used to say back in the day when they threatened someone. They threatened to pound them. Trust me, I'm a '90s and 2000s kid. I know what I'm. I'm a '90s and 2000s kid. I know what I'm talking about. But yeah, anyways, this is this guy. This. Raw, raw flesh zero nine one or six one five a brings up an important point, but yeah, I <laughs> I just don't I just don't get it why this isn't a a blight on our society, but offensive racial stereotypes are. I just don't understand. But anyways, that's all I have to say. Be feel free to comment and. Tell me what you think. But anyways, that is all for now. I gotta go. Bye.